I have burned Katrin. There was only one person who could have sent it. Then the Major turned, closest thing to the devil I'd ever seen. Do you realize what you've done? He roared, inches from my face. Do you have any idea what was on those papers? I told my superiors I found the plans in No Man's Land. I could not decipher the information they contained, but I hear we are to be moved to Pasendale. I don't expect you to believe this, but not only did that bird fly back to me, it brought a message with it. Danke, hero. Could it be possible that this bird of mine somehow found the German? I have arrived at Pasendale. Every man now carries a gas mask. Some question why the officers even expect a gas attack. But I know. How much had the young Canadians suffered to give me this information? Truth be told, most of war is just kind of waiting around for something to happen. And I waited at Passchendaele for months before something finally did. All men feared the gas at Passendale. All we could do was prepare for it. Der Kommandeur sagt, du musst heute deine Maske tragen, Kurt. Sie rechnen wohl heute mit dem Angriff. Warum sollten wir sonst Masken tragen? Ob heute ein Brief für mich dabei ist? Kurt Waldner, ich habe einen Brief für Sie. Dear Kurt, I am at a loss to explain the Canadian's motives in sending you the information he did. Is it possible he sympathizes with the German cause? Perhaps he wishes to warn only you, so you might avoid the gas altogether. It makes me anxious to consider you are only stationed at Passendale because of the information he sent. If he had done nothing, maybe you would still be at the Somme. I am relieved to hear you carry a gas mask with you. At least you... Are prepared. Lucy's condition has not worsened since I last wrote, but neither has she improved. I pray you get your permission home soon. We both miss you. Love, Katrin. Hey, Harry! Barrett is looking for you. Leave the long friend. Ah, oh, there you are. Good of you to join us, Lambert. Get up there, boy. Take photos. I'm waiting, Lambert. Do your damn job. Ready, boy? Move it, lad! No one wanted to go over the top. Not a single one of us. Hell, I just did what we all did. I followed orders. For my country. For the greater good. For Julia. Another massacre begun. Once more, we traded blood for yards gained. And amongst it all, the cat was nowhere to be found. It may seem like madness, but I promised Lucy she would meet the cat one day. I promised.
Both sides fought to control the church, the largest landmark on the battlefield. Output transcript: Wir haben deine Katze weglaufen sehen. Geht es dir gut? Irgendwas hat ja wohl Angst gemacht. Sie rannte in Richtung Kirche. She was safe. Thank God. I later wondered if she led me to that place on purpose. As if she knew something I did not. But I'm superstitious like that. You want to find Barrett? Head to the cemetery. You got hit by the gas. No more fighting for them. They're alive, but they'll be sent back to the rear. No way through this side, Harry. Gunpowder and bullets were enough. We have to invent gas. Them out, but the Germans held steady. I'd let the Major down recently. I wanted to prove myself, to make it up to him. Only, I didn't know how. Hi, Harry. Barrett, 
Jack's gone mad. He's going to get himself killed. Chris are holding us off from the tower. There's our goddamn artillery. I remember it clearly. I saw a side of Barrett that day I'd never seen before, and that I wouldn't soon forget. What happened? Am I dead? Bewege dich nicht, verstanden? Ich helfe dir. Nicht bewegen. What are you doing? You're German. Sind wir erstmal sicher? Wie geht es dir? Bist du verletzt? Well, how am I still alive? Wer ist du? Da kommen Soldaten. Das klingt falsch. Versteck dich irgendwo los. Hey! Ich glaube, da hinten war was. Da, da hinten. Hey Gott, geh mal den Wagen hoch. Ich muss da durch. to save me, but I failed.
Hurt man. Wake up. Come with me. We don't got much time. You transfer out tomorrow, right? Well, this is your last chance to get your camera back. Come on. So damn hungry. A prisoner of war. A phrase I'd never have understood back home in Canada. But there I was, four months into a stretch, at the pleasure of the German army. I was to be transferred out to the country. I'll never forget that last day. They'd taken my notebook, my camera. This was my last chance to get them back. Come here, hurry, quick! So, on cleaning duty this morning, I went through all their cupboards. I got your camera, your notebook, and anything else with your name on. I stashed it all together. It's ready to go. Listen, I'm on a break, but they got me cleaning the guard block again. You know what that means? Today's the day, Birdman. Shift starts again soon, and there's only one guard right now. Come on. Come on, Harry. Come on, Harry. Okay, Birdman, time to do your thing. Wait until I'm inside. You distract the Fritz, and I'll get your stuff. I'll meet you out back. I've already stashed your things. I just need a distraction, like we discussed, right? Come on, Julian. Blöde Gefangene. Jemand sollte sie alle erschießen. Alle. hide it in your bunk before anyone sees i had to hide them a stack of letters months worth the guards have been holding all of our mail now you'd think that many letters from julia i'd have torn them open but if i got caught i'd never get out i had to hide them it was torture I'd also forgotten that Kurt had given me his address, back in Vimy. He lived on a farm, and I was due to be transferred out to the country. It gave me an idea, and I knew just the man who could help. Yes. Dear Katrin, four months of asking and still they do not grant my leave. All that is left is my duty now. I wake some mornings forgetting why I came here in the first place. The only thing that keeps me going the only light I see are these letters home to you and our darling daughter. The weather here has turned a lot colder. I write surrounded by snow. Please tell Lucy. So I had Kurt's address, and was to be transferred to the country the next day. If anyone knew how to change a movement order, it would be my friend Julian. Change the address on your movement orders? Impossible. You're crazy. You can try, but it's your funeral, Birdman. Follow me. Right in the cabinet at the back, but that's the officer's quarters. You're not getting in there without a damn good distraction. Soccer. I hadn't played since I was at school. I hated sports. I was never any good at them, but for my plan, I didn't need to be. Well, no more football for us. Our ball's stuck on the roof. <laughs> oh, no. 
I can't believe it, Harry. Thank you so much. You want to play? Come on. I sat watching them in the officers' quarters last night. Damn Fritz. They were stuffing their faces, laughing. You're on your own now, Birdman. Good luck. Okay, wait until I'm ready, and then shoot. One lucky kick was all I needed, and I got it. That ball was my way in. Jeden Tag immer das Gleiche. Verfluchter Krieg. I was on the train before I had the chance to finally read Julia's letters. I was so distracted. I didn't even care if I was going to Kurt's farm or not. My heart was pounding. Dear Harry, thank you for all the wonderful photos you send to me. I received no reply for my last letter. Please write back. My dearest Harry, I will not believe harm has come to you. I cannot bear the thought of a world without you in it. I love you, Julia. And for the first time, those letters carried the scent of her sweet, sweet perfume. I had to get home. It had been nearly a year since I had seen my home, since I had seen my family. I could not sleep. At home, I dreamt of war. At war, I dreamt of home. As long as I was home, I would take care of my family. I had ten days at home and barely knew where to begin. I knew only that Lucy needed me. I could not even bring myself to enter my son's room. Lange reichen. Was hältst du von dem Namen Lotti, Papa? 
Passt er zu ihr? Mama hat gesagt, du hättest im Schlaf geschrien. Ist alles in Ordnung? Danke, Papa. Du hast mir gefehlt. Guten Morgen, Kurt. Ich habe Dr. Siegfrieds Stethoskop aus dem Dorf mitgebracht. Für Luzi. Luzi, hast du dein Brot gegessen? Wir brauchen Feuerholz, Kurt. Oh, wir brauchen frisches Wasser aus dem Brunnen, Kurt. Holst du bitte etwas? Things were different at home. Weird. We have all changed up here. Maybe it was Lucy's illness. Maybe it was the war. But I never mentioned Max, for I could not speak of my failure. Wir brauchen Feuerholz, Kurt. Du siehst müde aus, Kurt. Schläfst du genug? Du arbeitest zu viel, Kurt. Ruh dich aus. To most on the Allied side, Germany was a machine, efficient and relentless. But there were people starving on that train, people that needed help. Ich habe solchen Hunger. Hast du diesen Wagen nichts verloren? Raus hier! Geh weg. Geh weg. I remember a carriage of wounded German soldiers. Some gestured to me for food. I wasn't the hero Julian thought I was. I couldn't help these people. But I could take photos. One day, I thought, when I'm back in Canada, I'll show people what happened. What's Basto here? so clearly. She was alone. She was hungry. I couldn't just leave her. Maybe the adults on board could spare a little food. And as I took those photos, I wondered, had my plan to get to Kurt's farm even worked? Whoever that chocolate belonged to, they'd be happy to feed a starving child. Or that's what I told myself anyway. Schokolade? Was glaubst du so? Er hat Schokolade. You know, they let the prisoners walk around. Was ist los? Schokolade. Bitte. Oh, thank you for the chocolate. And for some reason, it reminded me of the man whose life I had the man I accidentally sent Allied intelligence to, the German and his cat. Du bist hier immer willkommen, aber geh nicht in mein Bett. <lacht> Lotti ist so lustig. Was machst du hier, Lotti? Hier, Kätzchen. Lotti. <lacht> Komm hierher. <lacht> I 
did what I could, but Lucy remained ill. I wish I knew how to help my little girl. I came home to see my wife and my daughter, to spend time with my family, and yet none of us spoke. I thought I could come home from the war. I thought I could leave it behind. But I understand now, Catherine, and I'm sorry. I can never leave the war behind. The war follows me wherever I go. Sure enough, I found myself on Kurt's doorstep. I didn't know how he'd react. It's one thing being friends with the enemy in a tunnel underground, but another being friends out in the open. I needn't have worried, though. Kurt and his family were kind to me. They took me in, gave me a bed to sleep in, cooked me meals. In return, I helped out on the farm and did what I could around the house. A few days later, Kurt took me to a nearby village. There were things his family needed. Lucy, his daughter, was sick, and Germany was struggling to feed itself by that time. Everyone was hungry. So while Harry looked for food, I looked for medicine for Lucy. Entschuldigung, Mama hat gesagt, kein Essen ohne Marke. Hey Kurt, geht's dir gut? Du weißt doch, du kannst hier nicht rein. Die finden das gar nicht komisch, wenn man hier reingeht. Glaub's mir. Kurt trusted me with one of his ration tickets, but people weren't too friendly. Go. Geh weg. Raus aus meinem Garten. Wir nehmen heute keine Patienten auf. I couldn't believe Kurt still had that cat. She was a funny little creature. You can often see her on the rooftops, chasing birds, I guess. Kein Kämpfen mehr. Keine Waffen. Bitte, lieber Gott. Hey. Eine Essensmarke? Wir haben noch ein Land. Nur für Sie. I finally found a loaf of bread. Food for Kurt's family. Alles kommt wieder in Ordnung. Wir nehmen heute keine Patienten auf. Okay. 
Die Kopfhunde meines Sohnes. Er sieht so anders aus. Dr. Siegfried hat sein Bestes getan. Aber mein Sohn kann in keinen Spiegel sehen. Vielleicht kann der Doktor Luzi helfen. Hast du ihn gefragt? Moment, ich komme schon. Ich kann, ich kann nicht glauben, was von meinem Sohn heute in einer Woche ist sein Geburtstag. Er war kaum alt genug, um zu kämpfen. Was gefunden? Hey Kurt, schön dich zu sehen. Heute ist mein letzter Tag. Morgen muss ich zurück. Henriette hat mir von meinem Bruder erzählt. Unfassbar, dass er nicht mehr da ist. Jetzt mache ich mir nur noch Sorgen um meine Familie. Wir schaffen das doch, oder? Hey Kurt, schön dich zu sehen. Henriette hat mir von meinem Bruder erzählt. Jetzt mache ich mir nur noch Sorgen um meine Familie. Wir schaffen das doch, oder? Kurt, ich habe Klaus das von seinem Bruder erzählt. War das richtig? Jetzt ist er völlig verzweifelt. Gebrochen. Hätte ich nur nichts gesagt. Aber ich danke dir, Kurt, dass du uns die Wahrheit gesagt hast. Kurt, ich habe das von Dr. Siegfried Jung und Klaus' Bruder gehört. So viel Leid, so wenig Freude. Wann ist das alles denn endlich vorbei? Hoffentlich bringst du mir eines Tages gute Neuigkeiten über meinen Gregor. Warum hat er zu? Er hätte längst öffnen müssen. Kurt, wie schön, dich wiederzusehen. Zumindest wurde Jonas anständig begraben. Dank dir, Kurt. Jonas hat uns vielleicht verlassen, aber deine Tochter ist noch bei uns. Diese Pflanze könnte helfen. Koch sie in Wasser, geblut sie den Sud zu trinken. Entschuldige mich, Kurt. Ich möchte allein sein. Viel Glück, mein Freund. Now I could take care of Lucy. I could work on my plan for Harry. It was then Kurt showed me his plan. Seemed like he wanted to build a balloon. At the time, I had no idea why. A real hot air balloon. And he wanted my help. Come in, Harry. I sure hoped Kurt knew what he was doing. Hey, Fremder. Was soll das mit dem Vogel? The inn opened its doors to the public. 
I knew Kurt was looking for a barrel. This was good timing. But would they let me in? I was the enemy after all. Keine Sorge, Kurt. Das schaffe ich schon allein. Vor dem Krieg konnte ich immer schlafen. Das ist vorbei. Was passiert, wenn wir einfach nicht zurückgehen? Ich lasse dich nicht gehen. Schön, dich wiederzusehen, Kurt. Du gehst nie wieder ich hoffe, Luzi geht's besser. Ich mag mir gar nicht vorstellen, wie das ja, so ist, wenn man seine Kinder nicht beschützen kann. In Zeiten wie diesen. The innkeeper sure seemed good at talking, and Kurt gave him someone to talk to. The perfect distraction. Suchst du immer noch deinen Sohn, Kurt? Der Krieg kennt kein Mitleid, Kurt. Im Krieg ist egal, wen er tötet. Ich hoffe, du findest deinen Sohn. Aber sei nicht so optimistisch. Wie fühlst du dich? Endlich wieder zu Hause. Es heißt ja, der Krieg hinterlässt unauslöschbare Spuren in jedem Mann. Stimmt das? Du siehst etwas müde aus, Kurt. Schläfst du genug? Ruh dich mal aus. Suchst. Suchst du immer noch deinen Sohn, Kurt? Der Krieg kennt keinen Mitleid, Kurt. Remember, I had no idea what was going on. What use did Kurt have for a balloon? But whatever I said on the long walk home, Kurt's response was always the same. He pointed toward the sky. So that is what happened, Katrin. I took these things from the village. I made a plan to help the man who I believed to be a hero. To repay my debt for the time he saved my life. And for the time he sent Allied intelligence to help me. I wanted to build a balloon for him. I wanted to send him home. To set him free. Also a father. He was also a husband. And he was also my friend. But I was too quick to trust the Canadian. Too quick to call him a friend. I see now how foolish I've been. I see now I was wrong. Kurt wanted to build a balloon, and I think he meant to build it for me. Something was wrong. My daughter didn't normally call out like that. She didn't make a fuss. surprised as Kurt. I didn't know who Max was. It's like the picture of his son triggered something in him. Flipped a switch. He could see it in his eyes. Before we knew it, he packed up early, went back to war, and took a bunch of my photos with him. Germany is interested only in its final push on the Western Front. They believe they can take Paris. 
I have not come here for Paris. By chance, I've been reunited with Franz. I haven't seen him since Vimy. Franz is built for war. Cold and detached, he sees the Tommy as vermin. I never used to understand him, but I do now. He will be a valuable ally. He has agreed to help me find the man in the picture. So that was it. Kurt left. Me? I resolved to build that balloon. I didn't know if I could do it without Kurt, but I knew I had to try. It was a long shot, but I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in Germany. And back home, there was Julia. 